Hi guys, welcome to Scuba for Families. I'm Tori. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Lauren. And we're so thankful for hitting that thousand subscribers. Thank you guys. Thank you. We've got a little treat for you guys today. We're off to Elphinstone Reef, a very famous dive site in the world in Masar Alam. This dive site is only for advanced divers with 50 log dives. So unfortunately we can take part. No. But they're very soon we'll be able to because they're close to that. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Hi guys, we're in Egypt with monkey divers. This video is going to show you the delights of Elphinstone. I'm here, it's 5.30 in the morning, the sun is rising, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm at the Equidox Marina. Jasmine and Lauren can't do this dive as you need 50 log dives and be an advanced diver due to the current and the drift that you can have on Elphinstone. Elphinstone is a big plateau. It has the south and north plateaus going down on the north side to 40 metres and it's famous to spot oceanic white tips which are rare. So the first dive is dive one. We're going along the south plateau. Elphinstone's in my top five dive sites of the world. Why? Because it's so beautiful. Not only have you got the coral formation but you've got thousands of different types of marine life. My favourite of all are the orange anthias, which you'll see, and also the anemone fish. These are the famous Red Sea anemone fish, which you can see everywhere at Elphinstone. Here you've got lots of groupers, but there, there's the orange anthias that you'll see throughout this video that just swarm all around you. You also have big pelagic species like the Napoleon humphead wrasse that aren't often spotted anymore because they've been so severely hunted um, and they're extremely shy. Different types of mass butterfly fish, everything is so well populated with life. This moray eel had a lovely cleaner wrasse attached to him, um, having a healthy symbiotic relationship. We spotted a beautiful green um, turtle resting, having a sleep in amongst the uh, coral. So the south plateau goes down to 12, levels off and then goes down to 25 metres and on the way down you'll be amazed about what kind of things you spot. We spotted a white uh, scorpion fish which are hard to see so thanks Mo for pointing this out. The diversity of colour on, on the Elphinstone reef is beautiful. Different butterfly fish, we even had a funny incident with a needle fish following our dive master Mo most of the way. Smile Mo! A pair of white pipe fish, often very difficult to spot, but when you do they're totally worth waiting and watching them. At Elphinstone you often see schools of barracuda, always exciting. The North Plateau is famous for those oceanic white tips. It's 20 metres and it goes drops down to 42. Um, this is where you can see all those pelagic species. There's me doing a selfie. And you really feel almost like some kind of space astronaut just floating with the current. It's so stunning. The sharks tend to be always around the surface towards 10 metres. Um, the best time to see them is between um, October and December. Obviously this is February so um, unfortunately we didn't see them. But who can complain when you've got schools of anthias, groupers, um, trevelis, butterfly fish and stunning coral life. It's just an amazing dive. How can you not smile when you've got a wall of anthias and a lone trevelli and sea whips? It's just breathtakingly beautiful. <music> On the 
On the way up to the surface, we were mesmerised by a school of um, black snappers. Have a look at this. Thanks to Mo from Monkey Divers for taking me on this magical journey. So hit that notification bell. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Thanks.